move on and ask, does the AIC and the residual deviance go down? And if the answer to those two is yes, then this is probably a good fit. Now, we will also look at assumptions and that's gonna be in the next video. And when we look at the assumptions of the model, we have to revisit some of these things. But for now we're saying um, and on a very simplistic level, let's iteratively build the model, make sure that everything we add is statistically significant and make sure that as we add things, the residual deviance and the AIC are getting lower and lower. We wanna get them as low as possible and we can build the model. In this little table that I've got here, I built this model up one variable and one interaction term at a time. And in, you know, if, if, it's, if I've got a green light against all three criteria, then I included it. And if I got uh, any red lights, that did not include that variable. Um, and here's the sort of final model. Now, interestingly, I've got a small um, error here in that glucose and age at, when in the final model were not statistically significant. So they should arguably, that interaction term should come out. Even though in a more simple version of this model, uh, that interaction term was statistically significant. Once we've included, uh, you know, the full package of variables, actually the relate, the, you know, the impact of that um, seems to have been explained away by other factors. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, so uh, that's our model. We call it. We want the most parsimonious model. You know, the model that can get us to the right answer with as few as possible variables uh, because the model, we can overfit the model. It can be too many. We can make, have an overly complex model um, and when we don't have endless data. Okay, so that is how to build your model. The next video is gonna be about checking your model assumptions, which is important. Uh, if you wanna access all of the code, look at this, and the annotations associated with the code to do all of this, then uh, click on the link that's on the screen right now. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.